Thousands of passengers have faced long delays at airports right across the country after the Qantas check-in crashed. As Amber Muir reports, the debacle is being blamed on a slight time change. At 10 this morning, the Earth gained a second and Qantas travellers a major headache as they tried to check in. Well, how long have you been waiting? About an hour. And where are you headed? Perth. Do you think you'll make it? Uh, I don't think so. It's our son's birthday today and we're trying to get back. Hopefully for dinner, but it doesn't look like we're probably going to make it, I expect, so, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. The queue stretched on and on, and so too was passenger patience. <laughs> no reassurance that more flights will no, we don't clear know. the backlog or we anything? Don't, we don't know anything. It turned out the addition of the so-called leap second triggered a global outage on the Armadeus software system used by Qantas. Staff reverted to manual check-in, reducing delays to just an hour by mid-afternoon. The same system is also used by Virgin Blue on its American flights. But fortunately, only one of those was slightly delayed. Elsewhere, passengers at Tiger Airways had a warmer greeting at the launch of its new Sydney base and services to the Gold Coast. Welcome on board, because I'm Andrew David, I'm the CEO. A year on from being grounded on safety concerns, Tiger's back for as little as $10 a flight. That's, uh, the regulator, safety regulator is very pleased with the progress we've made been working, as I said, very, very hard to drive operational excellence through the business. So what do the rival airlines think about Tiger's latest moves? Well, they claim not to be worried in the slightest about the increased competition and any resulting price war can only mean good news for consumers. And as we've seen, that can change in a mere second. Amber Muir, 10 News.